Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to talk about another Visual Studio setting um, that I think is gonna be helpful for everybody. So what I wanna talk about is this manage window layouts feature um, that comes right out of the box in Visual Studio. I'm in 2019, by the way. Um, I think it should be the same for 2017, but you might have to check. So this uh, manage window layouts basically allows you to arrange your, your views and windows however you like them and save them as a default settings that, that you can toggle between. So I have a desktop one and a laptop one. Um, and they're structured by hierarchy, so the default is always gonna be lap, uh, desktop. And I think you can move these, so you can click that and move it to the top, um, but in my case, I want my desktop. Uh, and what this does is, so right now I'm on my desktop one. If I wanna change to the laptop default window, I can do Control Alt and then two, uh, just because it assigns like all the defaults, like one, two, three, four, five, depending on that order you list them in. So this is my laptop one. And you can see here that uh, this output or all these menus on the, on the bottom moved over to the bottom right. And another thing I do change, and unfortunately you can't change it when the default layouts is this, um, the tabs. I place the tabs in the top. So when I'm just on my laptop screen, I like having it like this because it gives me the maximum screen real estate for the actual code. Um, but if I need to get access to these windows, I can just quickly you know, drag this over and, and get it right there, but then go back to the file just like that. Um, now, obviously for me, that, that's helpful if I were to go somewhere with my laptop and code, uh, but most of the time I'm on uh, my big monitors docked to my like workstation. So I wanna go back to my other default so I can do Control Alt 1 because that was the first in the list. And then I have to I have to go up here and place it on the left. And I this is like my go-to layout for Visual Studio. I keep all my uh, tabs on the left side. I keep all the windows on the bottom here. Uh, and I keep um, all my Explorer stuff on the right-hand side. So this is what I typically do. But if I wanted to, for some reason, alter this, and change this layout or just make another layout. Um, let's just say I wanna move my Solution Explorer to, uh, actually, how many options can you put this? Let's say I wanna put my Solution Explorer on the left-hand side next to my tabs for whatever reason I wanted to do that. Um, I can then save this as a default by going to Window, Save Window Layout, and let's just name this uh, Desktop, to and click OK and now that adds to the options so if I go to manage window layouts you can see it added it to the bottom right there uh, so now if I do control all let's go back to control Alt one if I do control Alt three you can see it goes back to that layout and I don't know what kind of crazy layouts you guys like I, I kind of just like the simple one that I use like this um, but I don't know what people do. Like you can, you can pretty much put these windows wherever you want. Like if I were to, to drag this output window, I could put it on the top. I could put it on the whole middle, the right, the bottom. You can put it in a lot of places, but I don't really like that. I just like keeping it on the bottom. I think that's how it comes out of the box. So that's just what I'm used to seeing. Uh, but you can see how this, like for sure, can be helpful. Um, and obviously, you know, it doesn't save that much time. But if you're constantly docking and undocking your laptop going from like two or three monitors down to a 15 inch screen, uh, being able to just quickly toggle that real quick, especially if you have a lot of customizations, it can just be helpful. It, it, stuff like that, I feel like just gets really annoying just to always like be messing with the settings in your Visual Studio. Um, I guess if you're bored, you know, it gives you something to do during work, I guess. But you can do it this way. You can, you can use Control Alt and toggle between each of these and it's really fast. Um, but again, this is this is the way I pretty much have it like all the time. The only other alternative um, that I might do sometimes, especially if I have more monitors, um, if I'm ever writing unit tests, what I'll probably do is I'll probably move a test file like this. So if you don't know, you can drag a tab and you can make it its own window like this. Um, and then I'll probably drag that over to uh, my left monitor. And so I have my um, file that I want to add test cases to. So that way I can see the code I'm testing and that way I can see my unit tests um, on both screens. And that's just such an advantage. Like for me, it, it's so hard to go back to 
just the laptop screen because when you go to when you're used to using um three displays like for me i have my big um my big i think it's 20 yeah 27 inch monitor i have a 20 something like 24 inch next to it and then i have my laptop um like right there and i just keep the screen propped open so i have like three monitors essentially um so when you go from that just down to a tiny like 15 inch screen it makes it really hard uh but if you can change the layouts to help you out with that i would definitely check out this just play around with it i'm sure you can make it pretty cool and i'm sure there's other options around this that you can set as well i think there's um some microsoft documentation that you can look you can look up here like manage uh, and roam your layout so uh, i only talked about a, just like a tiny bit that you can do with this you can do a lot more with this but this is just to get you familiar with what this is and uh hopefully this is helpful i'm going to link this down below this documentation again this is stuff is this stuff is kind of buried like personalized visual studio and it's it's not I don't know. It might not be obvious. I feel like a lot of this documentation stuff is not obvious to me. I I don't know what I'm looking at, but I have to like search on Google and then I'm like, oh, okay. I didn't know they had documentation about it. So anyway, I'll put this down below and you can go check that out if you want to. Um, that's all I have for the video. This, I, I found this, man, I started using this like five or six months ago. I, I got bored one day cause I had to unplug my laptop and I like went and worked somewhere and I'm like, is there a way to like set default things in Visual Studio? Um, and I guess there is. And also, there's a there's a way too that you can set um, which files open up, or if any files that you had open previously from your last session, you can set it to be like that nothing opens, and you can just get into it right quick. Uh, I might make a video on that because that's actually pretty helpful, and especially if you're working into in a large solution that can like decrease your load times a lot but anyway that's that's another video i think i might make in the future so thank you all for watching the video i really appreciate it uh if you have any suggestions if you want to see anything else in visual studio let me know down in the comments i'd love to make a video or whatever uh thank you all for watching have a good day